Greetings to you all. Greetings to you all. And welcome again. Thank you for joining. Thank you for connecting. I believe you are doing well wherever you are. I believe you are doing well. The word of God says, Know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Once you know the truth, once you discover the truth, your life will be easy. Hallelujah. I believe after listening to this message, your life will change for good. Hallelujah. It will move from glory to glory. Praise the Lord. As I was praying and meditating once more again upon the word of God, the spirit of God this time began to reveal to me some things which many people of God are going through. It ministered to me about the promises of God. He said, many of us, we have been promised certain things by God, by people, by our surroundings. There are many promises we have uh, come across in our lives. Hallelujah. But the question is, are they all fulfilled? Whatever someone promised to you, did they fulfill it? Even God himself, did he fulfill his promises unto your life? Did your friends, your family members, your government, or whoever it is, the promises they made upon you or to you, did they fulfill it? Hallelujah. We are here to learn about the promises of God and how to achieve them and how to obtain them. Hallelujah. People of God, first and foremost, what we have to understand is this. Before you talk about any promise, before you talk about any promise from anyone, whether from God or whether from colleagues or whether from whoever it is, before you talk about any promise, the first thing you must understand is the time. Yes, the time. The time, when I'm talking about the time, I'm talking about the times we are living in now. It might sound like obvious. Yes, it, the obvious things. That's where many things are lying, in the obvious. Some people, they miss it because it's so obvious. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I pray that the Spirit of God help you to reveal the hidden truth from this obvious. Hallelujah. So now, what is obvious then? This is 2019. 21st century. Hallelujah. Many, many years after our Lord Jesus Christ come, came here, died, resurrected, and uh, lived on. Hallelujah. Many things have, have happened on this earth. The Bible, many people, many stories we read in the Bible, it's already happened. It's the history. Hallelujah. Yes, the Bible says, heaven and earth shall pass, but my word will remain the same, will never pass. Hallelujah. We have to understand something. Like I said, for you to understand and acquire and obtain the promises of God, you have to understand first where you stand, the times you are in. Then when you understand the time you are in, you will adapt and work according to where you are. Some of the things which people of the old did, they don't work now. Why? Because now this is the time of technology. This is the time, these are the times where hidden things, the things people never knew before, they are now obvious, they are now seen. Because of technology. Hallelujah. So this is the foundation of the promise. First of all, you have to realize that I'm in a 21st century. I'm dealing with, um, <laughs> with a new creation now. Hallelujah. So, the second one, when you realize now that you are in a, a, this new dimension, you have to know that as a child of God, your promises has to be best. From the word of God. Hallelujah. Remember. What it says in 2 Corinthians. 5 verse 17. It says. Therefore if anyone is in the Messiah. I'm reading from International Standard Version. He's a new creation. Old things.
things have disappeared. And look, behold, all things have become new. Hallelujah. Heaven say that. Now, that we are living in this century, the century of technology, the second thing you have to understand, that your promises have to be based on the Messiah. They are not supposed to be based on the old things, because when they based on the old things, then they might not work, because they are from old. Like I said, the old things now, there is a chance that they are not going to work because of what is happening at this age. Hallelujah. Now you realize that you are in the 21st century. Now you have Christ in you. So what next then? What next? <laughs> yes, that's a good question. Now, the next thing you must know and you must realize is this. This devil, this devil of darkness, what he does, one of his ways is this one, is to mix you and group you with people. Is to compare you and think and make you think you are the same with others. Ah, I pray that you catch this one. The devil's mission is to make you feel as if you are a group, you are a community, you are a country. He makes you feel, he takes away your individuality. But Christ wants you, wants you to realize that you are an individual. Therefore, the promises of God are for you. They have to start from you. Listen to this. There are all different kinds of promises. There's a promise of the country, of the world. There's a promise, there are promises of the community. There are promises of the family. There are promises uh, uh, for siblings. There are promises, there are individual promises. That's what I'm talking about. Individual promises. And God is more interested in, the, in your individual promises. Why? Because when you are when you achieve the individual promises which God has given you, He has spoken about you, you are now able to affect your family, your community, your country, going, expanding and expanding. But the world wants you to start from outside, coming here. That is why you'll never get it. That is why you'll never get it. So today, I want you to reverse the order. Begin to realize what God said about you as a person. Only you individual hallelujah and then when you realize that you know what the next thing is going to happen to you is this you'll begin to to value yourself you begin to value your time you begin to respect yourself at the end of the day the bible says your body is the temple of the holy ghost your body is the church itself god dwells in you you got everything in your body. So the moment you realize the value of yourself, that's when you, you will start taking care of that temple. And then the promises of God, which he has spoken about you individually, they will begin to manifest because of the value you have placed on where they're supposed to manifest. Hey! Hi, 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 hi. Hallelujah. So now, the devil makes sure that, okay, when God said, um, you'll get married, his trick is this, or you'll get a job, or you will get a business, or you will get a bazaar, or whatever, school, or whatever. What he does is this, he, 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 he instills the thoughts in your mind for you to start looking for people who are going through the same thing. Hey, the devil is always looking for people, he's always recruiting. Yeah. He's always recruiting for people who are, who are looking for what God has said about them. Hmm? He wants you to put you, in, to, 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 to put you in that group. He said, ah, there are other people who are looking for marriage. Be there, hallelujah, pray for marriage. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with mixing with other brethren, hallelujah. There is nothing wrong with mixing with people uh, who are doing the same thing, there is nothing wrong. But what is wrong is to rely and base your promises with uh, uh, in, in the group. You are now believing that for, for you to achieve your, 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 your promise, your friend has to achieve, your colleague has to achieve. Therefore, you are now reliant on them. Praise the Lord. 
God speaks to people most of the time they speak to you as an individual yes he might say the message as a general message to the congregation to everyone to the world but only those who catch it are the ones which God will use to fulfill it that is why he said my eyes are looking and searching for somebody who will stand on the gap how can God look for somebody who will stand on the gap while it's God or everyone? Which means he's looking for someone who will individualize and personalize anything and everything which he tells us. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let us look at Father Abraham. When God promised Abraham, hallelujah, <laughs> he promised him alone. Yes. He promised, read the story in Genesis 15, verse, uh, from verse 5 there, the whole Genesis 15, and read the story. Hallelujah. God spoke to him. He said, you will be the father of many nations. At that time, that man was so old. He was very old. But God spoke the word. He said, you shall be the father of many nations. Hallelujah. Abraham's wife laughed. Listen to this. The promises of God unto your life will not make anyone comfortable. When God speaks about your life, many people will rebel against you. They will love you. They might do anything you might not even imagine. So the secret is, is to know that and grip it and individualize it. As you are individualizing that which God has said about you. Ha, yeah, 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 yeah. Go to your closet. Go to your corner and begin to pray and say, Father, you promised. You said I will be like this. Show me the way. Open my eyes. Let me see the steps to take in order for me to achieve that which you, you, you promised me. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Abraham, even though he was old, even though he, 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 his body was, was not fit like a young man, he was old. But the Bible says he stuck at no to the promises of God. He kept his head up straight. He neither looked left or right, but he kept his focus. Hallelujah. Because he personalized it. He knew that the promises I have, I had from God, they are mine. Hallelujah. He knew that God spoke to him. He will be the father of many nations. Not the nations to be father of Abraham, no. But Abraham to be the father of many nations. That's what I said in the beginning. I said, God's order is reversed from this world. God wants you to be the, 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 the blessing of your family. But the world wants the family to bless you. Ah, God wants you to be the blessing of your community. But the world wants the community to be... Do you get it? God wants you to be the blessing. That is why he said you are the light of the world. Not the world, not that the world is your light. No. You are the one who has to light the world. But how are you going to light a promise? And you run around and ask people, do you think this? No. You just have to trust God and say, Father, you said it. For you said it in the book of Numbers. This is Numbers, 20, uh, Numbers 23, verse 19. Ah, He says, God is not a man that he, he should lie. Oh, no, he, he can change his mind. Mm -mm. What he said about you, it shall come to pass. Remember, now you are walking in this new, in, in this new creation. You are no longer an old generation. You are no longer your, your past. You are no longer your community. But you are the new creation, be old. Hallelujah. People of God, you have to trust what God has said. It shall come to pass. It doesn't matter who said what. It doesn't matter who says what. It doesn't matter how many prayers they are making. It doesn't matter how many altars they are, uh, they are building against your progress. The secret is Focus on that which God has called you to do. Do not be moved. Do not look left nor right. No. Go for it. Go for it. It doesn't matter how hard it has. Abraham 
when he was promised that he would be a father of many nations. He was old by then. Ha, 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 ha. Ha. That is why the Bible says God has to convince him and take him outside and say, Hey, mister, look at outside the sky. Just gaze. Just look at the sky. And what do you see? Oh, Abraham said, I am looking up and I am seeing the stars. He said, and God said, So, gonna be your descendants. Do you see what you want to achieve? Picture it. As far as your eyes can see, that's way. That's how far you will go. As far as your eyes can see, as far, meaning what you imagine. Hmm? What you imagine. How do you see yourself at the end of this year? Hmm? Are you running around asking people, haven't you heard from God? So you don't know what to do now? <laughs> Hallelujah. There has to be a time. That now you know, now you know that God said I will be the father of many nations. You will now take the necessary steps towards that which God has said about you. Hallelujah. But if you're still searching, hmm, for how long are you going to search? For how long are you going to search? Ha, if it's too hard, you don't even know what to do. Just do like Daniel. The Bible says Daniel prayed when he was given a task. He didn't know. He was not sure. But he prayed. You read the story in Daniel 2 verse 22. He says God is the God who reveals the secret. He brings the hidden things unto light. Hey! Maybe your promises have been buried. Maybe you can't even remember them. Mm. Entertain the Holy Spirit. For the Bible says he will not going to leave us alone, but he will leave us with the helper, our advocate. Ah, that one will yes, remind us about us. For all our promises, they lie in him. They lie in him. Hallelujah. So when you entertain Christ, when you entertain the Holy Spirit in you, ah, that helper will reveal the things you have to do. He will show you, oh, clearly, ah, all the promises of God. And he's not going just to show you. He will help you to achieve them. He will direct your steps. You will find yourself achieving them. As you're achieving them, you are now winning souls to the kingdom of God. And that's our purpose, to make many people disciples. We cannot make them when we are poor. We cannot make them when we can't achieve our own promises. We have to start from us. Charity begins at home. Hallelujah. Charity has to begin at home. Praise the Lord. I believe the Spirit of God is going to minister to you more and more of this message. And I pray that you will be helped to realize the promises of God. Maybe they are so big, you even ignore them. You think, ah, this is too big. It's not for me. No. Focus. Just focus. And go for it. And your name will be remembered. You are not an ordinary person. You are somebody who has to make history. You are not alone. The Spirit of God is with you. Is upon you. Is in you. Christ in you. Inside you. The hope of glory. Connect with him. Ask him questions. Have fellowship with the Spirit of God. And he will direct your steps. He has good plans for you. Plans to prosper you. Not to harm you, but to give you life. He who have began a good work in you, he shall complete it. Hallelujah. Christ will never promise something uh, upon your life and leave you uncompleted. No. He is a person who fulfills the works. He is someone who fulfills the works. Hallelujah. May God fulfill whatever he has started in your life. Yes, arise and shine. This is your moment. This is your hour. This is your time. Let the word see. Ah, the manifestation, the manifestation of God's spirit upon your life. Yes, let it be so and so it is. Whatever has been troubling you, I speak life uh, 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 unto your life now. Whatever has been a hindrance in your life, right 
right now I pray that the Holy Spirit may remove it. Whatever has been blocked, I, I unblock it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Whatever has been said about you, and uh, right now, if it's a negative thing, I come against it, I say now be free by the blood of Jesus Christ. When the Son of Man set you free, you are free indeed. God bless you. Till we meet next time. Bye. Shalom.